I don't cook every day or feed somebody or think about food one day, I feel my soul is uh, missing something. And so cooking is very important. What happened to me when I got sick was the inability to be able to see. For me, it's important to look at something and say, that dish will sing and dance in that bowl or plate or platter. And that was taken away by me very rudely. My love for cooking began with the outdoors. My grandmother, uh, Dadi, would um, pray every morning and every morning she would bathe the idols with chandan ka pani and then feed them food. And I would say, Dadi, he kaha ja And the plate of food would go to the rooftop and uh, they would be fed to the birds. And I would say, kya kua, Dadi? And she would say, chiriya bhagwan ko leke ja The birds are taking it to the gods. You know, stars and um, all this critical acclaim doesn't do much if you're an artist. What you uh, strive to do is create and um, give people joy, give people happiness, enrich their lives, give them memories. So of course the Michelin star brought a lot more people in to the restaurant and to Devi. When I first got the uh, mini stroke in my concussions and I started losing weight and um, dealing with life in a new mood. I thought there'll be a cure, but in my head I knew that it was a, a, a T.I.N. My concussions that were making me fall and damage my brain, they caused me to lose sight and lose uh, motor function and memory loss. That is when I was ready to give up on life and the doctors were ready to give up on me. And all of a sudden, my mother arrived from India and said, Baba, you're coming home. I left at a 20 and now I was 46. Even though I, when I looked at the mirror at a man who'd lost 35, 38 kilos, I used to get frightened. The challenge of not being able to see was a, a huge one, a behemoth one. It was not an easy ride. Um, I was told, no, 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 you're not cooking, you're not going into the kitchen, you're not going anywhere near fire. I learned to be more in touch with my other senses and I learned to uh, indulge myself with the other senses that weren't visual. Metaphorically, I learned to be one with life and be grateful for what I had. And I was so much luckier than so many others who were in a much worse plight than I was. But somehow mother's love, Indian way of living, accepting and embracing life as it comes happened to me and I started seeing a future. I started believing in tomorrow and all of a sudden I started getting better. So I learned to connect with me and connect with the world I was surrounded around. My most recent book is not a cookbook. It's a book of uh, pictures, uh, photographs, all taken on an iPhone when I could barely see beyond three feet. That's the beginning and how uh, the journey of Instamatic came to fruition. Instamatic found uh, idea, came to uh, print. It's a book of hope, of inspiration, of questioning and of uh, grounding people to not just their own nuclear homes, but to where they live and to teach them that there's a life beyond the beyond the beyond. And if you keep looking, you'll keep finding questions and hopefully answers as well. That's the story of Instamatic.